Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Back in November 2020, when Indo-China standoff was at its peak, Indian Navy has released two non-weaponized Sea Guardian drones to enhance surveillance over the Indian Ocean region. Indian Navy was able to release the MQ-9B drones in just 37 days and on 38th day, the drone was ready for the mission. Impressed with its performance, Indian Army, Navy and Air Force also want to jointly procure 30 armed versions of American MQ-9B or Predator and the deal is projected around 3 billion US dollar. Now recently, an image of MQ-9B Sea Guardian operated by Indian Navy was shared on Twitter by Damon Simon. The image dates back to April 2022, which shows two MQ-9B in Rajali Naval Station. Another image shows the massive range of this UAV, which is not only covering the entire stretch of Bay of Bengal, Arabian Sea and Indian Ocean, the UAV is also capable of performing the ISR operation in northern, western and eastern frontier of India. With its wide range of sensors, high endurance and its low operating cost, the Sea Guardian can definitely prove to be complementary system for navies and air forces operating maritime patrol aircraft. These drones have emerged as valuable surveillance asset for conducting reconnaissance of India's maritime and land borders with China and Pakistan. Currently, Indian Navy uses MQ-9B for the maritime surveillance from Gulf of Aden to the Sundai Strait in Indonesia. The Sea Guardian Remotely Piloted Aircraft or RPA system is a naval derivative of MQ-9B Sky Guardian specifically configured for maritime ISR missions. The versatile RPA can perform varieties of missions such as anti-surface warfare, anti-submarine warfare, search and rescue mission, humanitarian assistance and disaster relief, and border surveillance and law enforcement. The sensors on board Sea Guardian is what makes the UAV a potent ISR platform in maritime domain. A key part of its mission set is Leonardo Sea Spray AESA radar mounted as a centerline pod with inverse synthetic aperture radar that can spot surface targets including ships, submarine periscopes and people during search and rescue operations. For anti-submarine warfare, the Sea Guardian can carry two or four Sonu Boys dispensers under its wing. The package consists of podded Sony Boy dispenser system using a pneumatic launch system to launch 10 A size or 20 G size Sony Boys from each pod and a Sony Boy management system and control system. These Sony Boys have capability to transmit the detected submarine information to Sea Guardian which then communicates it back to the ground station via the SATCOM link. Talking about the specification of Sea Guardian, it has a maximum endurance of 40 hours and can mount an 8 hour patrol at a radius of 1200 nautical miles or 2200 kilometers. This explains the wide area coverage of this RPAs. The arm version of the RPA can carry precision guided munitions over its 9 hard points, 8 under wing, and 1 below the center line. The MQ 9B uses Leonardo's Sage 750 pod to search, identify and track radars coming from both land, sites and ships. The RP features Raytheon's high definition EOIR system for multi-spectral targeting system. It has also recently been integrated with ESM or LNIT module. India and US have been negotiating for the deal of 30 MQ-9B for almost 6 years. As an exception, the US government has cleared the offering of this armed capability to the first non-NATO ally. Last year, the Defense Equation Council approved a proposal to procure MQ-9B drones equipped with surface-to-surface -surface missile. Under this, it was planned that India would purchase 30 armed Predator drones from US. All the three branches of armed forces were supposed to receive 10 drones each. There were also news reported for putting this deal on back burner, however, there is no official confirmation or a statement from Ministry of Defense on this deal. The procurement process has been slow, mainly due to the bureaucracy in the two countries. Now the next step is receiving a letter of request from Ministry of Defense for which we all are waiting. 
This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.